With the spacers separated, we can now sandwich this in between each of the hinges. I'll put one on the bottom and I'll take another one and place that on the top. And what we're going to do then is clico this assembly together using one of our copper clicos and that'll go through all three pieces like that and I'll use another clico over here. The reason we're doing this is we're now going to final drill through each of these five holes with our number 30 drill bit and then we can take this apart and deburr all of the holes that we just drilled and then we can put this back together and rivet it as per our directions. And there we go with the two clicos in it. Now I can go ahead and drill through all five holes. We can then take the other spacer and do exactly the same thing using any of the remaining two hinge plates. Simply sandwich the spacer in between, clico together, and then drill through the holes. Now with the hinge ready, we can take the bearing that is specified in your instructions and place it into the recessed area. Then the spacer will go on top like this. And then the other hinge will come on top of there. I will go ahead and clico this and then we will squeeze rivet as per our instructions. Take the proper rivet and insert it in and we will now squeeze with our squeezer. We have installed the proper rivet set which in this case consists of one that is flat and the other side is cupped. And here's our first rivet squeezed in place. I'll go ahead now and finish the rest. I'll make sure I keep these clico tightly together while squeezing the rivets to make sure we don't get any gaps inside between the three pieces of the hinge. And that's what our completed hinge looks like. And our bearing in the center. Now we'll repeat this for the other three pieces and make the other hinge with the bearing inside.